Today, we're going to solve some uh, equations using uh, exponential properties and logarithmic properties. And we'll have one prob word problem at the end. It's very similar to word problems that you had before, but prior to this, you probably did not, unless you uh, remember from a previous course, how to use logarithms and or exponents to solve those equations. So we'll incorporate one word problem at the end. So. If you need to review the properties of logarithms and or like change of base, et cetera, et cetera, you should probably look at a previous video. They're either in my YouTube channel or up on my website in appropriate order or in Blackboard if you're at a uh, university that I teach at. So uh, the first example, we're gonna have this, three raised to the exponent of two minus five X equals 11. So in other, in previous problems, you might have uh, three, two minus five X equals nine. And then we could write this as three squared and then set the exponents equal to each other. But this, we cannot deploy that technique with this problem because that 11 cannot be, well, cannot be nicely represented as three raised to some exponent because that exponent would be some decimal value and might not even be, yeah, I don't know, I'd have to dig around, but I don't even know I'm, not, I'm unsure whether it would be rational or not, so it might be a, an irrational number. So what can we do? Well, uh, one, one way that I've described logarithms to you is logarithms can be used, especially with that one property, to flatten your equation. This equation has this thing that's this exponent that makes it, the way I see it or think about it, it's not flat. But if I can flatten it, I remove some complexity with the equation. And how can I do that? If I take the logarithm of both sides, and you can pick log base 3, or you can take log ba base 10, it, it really doesn't matter because the property, if I take the logarithm of this 3 to the 2 minus 5x, and take the logarithm of the other side of the equation, I get that. But recall the property that allows me to write this exponent as a coefficient in front of the logarithm, I get the following. That whole thing multiplied times the logarithm of the original base. And so now my equation is, as I say, flat. So at this point in time, this is just a number, and you really should try to get used to thinking of this as just a number. As complex as it might look, it is just a single value. If I took a calculator and took the natural log of three, it'll give me some decimal value. And because it is such just a number, I can divide both sides by ln3 in order to continue to solve for x or solve for the equation. So now I have both sides divided by ln3, natural log 3. Somebody told me we shouldn't say ln, and that's probably fine. Um, a very intelligent, comp competent, uh, good friend of mine. So we'll divide both sides by natural log of 3, and I'll get natural log of 11 over natural log 3 on one side, still just some number divided by some other number, and then I have that business on the left, which you know how to deal with with your algebraic skills. I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. That was not divide. Please don't confuse that. I get negative 5x equals natural log of 11 divided by the natural log of 3 minus 2. Now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 5 or divide each term by negative 5 and I get x equals the natural log of 11 divided by the natural log of 3 which is being divided by natural log of 5 minus 2 divided by the natural log, oh, excuse me, negative 5. And if you wish, you can write this denominator as a fraction and do the whole divide, dividing fractions thing. Or we simply know that it's natural log of 11 divided by negative 5 natural log of 3 plus 2 fifths, which is your answer. Uh, Sometimes these problems will ask you to do this, which is an exact answer. This is an exact, oops, can't spell exact, exact answer, because nothing is some uh, simplified decimal. That's a ratio and that's a ratio, and this is the most accurate representation of natural log 11 and same as the natural log of three. Now, some, sometimes we will subsequently ask you to give me the decimal approximation for this, and you would have to put that in your calculator. Please be sure that you use parentheses. I would personally use parentheses around this value. 
put the division sign, this value, plus 2 divided by 5, all of that in parentheses when I enter it in my calculator. Once you do that, I'm not going to do any of that here. Once you do that, if you want to check your answer, hit pause right now. Type it in your calculator just to check to see if you can type it in correctly. But your answer should be approximately negative 0.037. All right. So on to the next example. The next example would be... Uh, five, base of five raised to the exponent of three, why can't I write three? Three x minus one equals two raised to the exponent of x plus three. Now, again, we can flatten this out, or if we had it in the old, fat, old way or the easy way, these bases would be the same, but they're not. Nope, not the same. So I can't just set the, I can't, I can't nicely represent five as a an ex, a power with a base of two, which means I can't set, or not easily anyway, uh, set these exponents equal to each other in the old way or the simple problems. These bases are not the same, five and two are not equal. And so again, the a more oftentimes, we will say the easier, uh, more direct uh, way to solve this one is to take the natural log of both sides. Again, flattening our equation. So I'm gonna take the natural log of five, of 3x minus 1 equals natural log of 2 raised to the x plus 3. And again, I can write this exponent as a coefficient of the natural log and same as over here. So I can get 3x, plus, 3x minus 1. That whole thing is a coefficient on a natural log of 5. And x plus 3, that whole thing is a coefficient on a natural log of 2. And now I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to divide both sides by natural log of 5. Oh, actually, I'm not going to do it that way. Could, but that gets, I think that's, I think you guys prefer to do this. If I distribute natural log of 5 to both of these terms, and the same thing over here, natural log of 2 distributed to both of those terms, I'm going to get 3x times the natural log of 5 minus. 1 times the natural log of 5, which is just minus natural log of 5. And I'm going to get x times the natural log of 2 plus 3 times the natural log of 2. Now notice this has an x in the term. This has an x in the term. This is just a number. And this is just a number. So I'm going to get the terms with x's on them on one side and the terms with that are just numbers on the other side by adding natural log of 5 to both sides and subtracting x times ln2 from both sides. So x times the natural log of 2 subtracted from both sides. So I get 3x natural log of 5 minus x natural log of 2. And these equal 0. And then I get 3 natural log of 2 plus natural log of 5 on the right hand side. From here, I have this x and I have this x. How do I get just x? Hopefully you're thinking that I can or we can um, factor this x from both terms. And so I get x times 3 times the natural log of 5 minus just the natural log of 2. And that equals 3 natural log of 2 plus natural log of 5. Can't do anything with those to simplify them. And now I'm going to divide both sides by this because this is just a number. 3 natural log of 5 minus natural log of 2 divided by 3 natural log of 5 minus natural log of 2. And I'm all I'm left with x on the left hand side and this seemingly crazy fraction on the right hand side. But really it's just the number plus another number divided by a number minus another number. And so that's my exact answer. Exact answer. And uh, again, oftentimes we'll ask for the numerical value. And so you have to put out your calculator. Again, I would use parentheses around this. And then I would divide and use parentheses around that. And you should get something, or you should get exactly this value or something approximately this. The first three values, or first three decimal places should be that. I didn't write down what was after that, okay?